Hey, what's up guys? This is Dr. Saturn and welcome back to Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Yes, Sparks, I know, I know you're raring to take on your own level at last. But don't worry, man, this is exactly what I planned for today. So luckily for you, the time has come to take on the third Sparks level in the game and unlock a new ability. We are back in Evening Lake one last time just for this reason alone. So without any further ado, let's talk to Zoe here. Princess Amy, Princess Amy blah blah blah, let's take on Starfish Reef because that's the name of this level, quite obviously. And suffer because I don't like this level, I think it's the most annoying one, mainly because of the enemies here. And speaking of enemies... Uh, yes, we are greeted by an entire welcoming committee of them. Yeah, this was Starfish. The level is named after a swarm of them, even. Uh, but the story is exactly the same as with all the other smaller enemies in other levels. So don't even worry about it. Uh, right, Starfish Reef, so we can already tell what the primary enemy type will be here. Uh, Alright, let's start exploring. Uh, we have a gateway up on the north and one on the east. The one on the east will not open yet. Uh, but we will still get there, as you can see there are some gems behind it, which of course should give you an idea that we will be returning to this area later. So yeah, keep this circular mosaic pattern and spawn in mind. Right, now let's take up the northern path and continue. And we have some more starfish here, so let's start mowing them all. Uh, just because we can, we are sparks after all. Very nice. Alright, and another thing about this level is that yes, Starfish Reef uh, should give you an idea that this level takes place entirely underwater. So that's why Sparks here is inside a bubble. Uh, very nice attention to detail if you ask me. All right, we are approaching the next enemy type here. This is a pretty annoying uh, Barracuda. I'm not sure what this thing is. I never really seen any concept art or uh, a model of this guy. Uh, so excuse me. I, I think these guys are Barracudas. Uh, you know, the large predatory fish. Uh, kind of like in Finding Nemo. Uh, so I think that makes sense. Alright, and the third enemy type is uh, the big starfish, uh, which of course, uh, when we break it, uh, it will divide itself into three smaller starfish, uh, which, you know, wouldn't be that bad if those starfish weren't, like, approaching you at the speed of light, making them pretty uh, difficult to avoid. Okay, let's... Uh, oh man, yes, this is not looking that good. Uh, but you're gonna die. Thank you. We have a butterfly here. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, and another butterfly with a... With a power-up we haven't seen yet, but I don't really like this power-up. Uh, right now, uh, we have the cool power-up, my favorite one. Uh, so let's leave this butterfly for now and start uh, killing some more fish. Uh, very nice. Uh, all you have to do is just keep a safe distance uh, so you don't get uh, in the barracuda's way. Uh, yeah, these guys uh, will get uh, really annoying, but uh, really they're not half as bad as as the big starfish uh, which you know are going to get in the way uh, a bit later all right now uh, we have destroyed two huts here which of course gives us gems no need to explain myself really the story is exactly the same as with all the other uh, sparks levels yeah luckily the projectiles the the barracudas shoot are limited range, unlike ours. So yeah, we have a good advantage here. You know, I really never was a fan of... and uh, not sure... Uh, the fact that uh, all the enemies were in an advantage 
uh, against you and you were just helpless here uh, but luckily uh, it's nice to see that sparks here is pretty OP compared to uh, all the other enemies yeah of course that was to be expected uh, but of course this is the power of the big starfish or rather uh, the, the big starfish itself doesn't really pose that much of a threat uh, but it's the small starfish which really approach you at max speed so be very careful okay yes we've managed to get hit but no biggie really uh, we're going to get a million butterflies in just a second if I remember correctly now if we head uh, down uh, we will see a barracuda here uh, this one it's pretty mobile, so of course be careful. Uh, and yes, this is a Barracuda spawning hut. We of course don't want any more of them. Uh, so let's go. We now have a power up, so let's just take this one just for the laughs. Yes, this is a new power up type which we haven't seen yet. This is a mine, uh, which isn't really that great, but we're gonna see how it works in combat. Uh, we cannot go through this gate, I'm afraid. Okay, so yeah, let's take on this one. I didn't expect that. Yeah, the, the mine isn't really that great, so don't expect me to be using it. Now we have, now we're talking, now we have the better one. So, of course. Uh, yeah, I think this gateway uh, a bit on the right will not open unless we go to this northern area I don't know how that works there is no button whatsoever okay it's time for some more uh, killing yeah keep a safe distance uh, safe distance is the absolute key in this levels uh, so yeah uh, don't be reckless I know I am but not in the sparks levels of course uh, the stakes are really really high okay uh, all right uh, this guy managed to hit us not sure if if the range of, of some of the projectiles of the barracudas is different uh, probably not but it sure looks like it okay some more starfish uh, the regular ones don't worry this is all child's play uh, I say as I get hit like a stupid moron okay let's go this is not the boss room yet uh, but we're, we're pretty close so don't worry yeah I think this is another one of those uh, barracuda spawning hats so of course we have to uh, destroy them all while wow, our health is not looking that great Okay, nice. We have a big starfish here, which we're going to treat uh, with some spammy attacks. Uh, very nice. And I think we are approaching the boss. Thank you for this butterfly, although it's not much. It's still very much appreciated. Yes, this is the boss. Uh, we're going to see him in just a second. Let me just grab all those gems. And the boss is this big manta ray. Uh, which of course uh, will run away from us for some reason I know for sure that this guy has an uh, attack phase uh, but for now I, I he never really attacked me uh, in this state so of course it's a big big stingray uh, of course be careful not to touch it or else you're gonna end up like Steve Irwin well that was a terrible terrible joke uh, okay, and as you can see, the Manta, or the, rather the Stingray, uh, has divided itself into two. So, of course, the story is pretty similar to how you'd expect a Manta Ray boss to, to go, uh, thanks to Nintendo and their Fanta Manta boss fight in Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, of course, okay, now you're mine. Yeah, this really wasn't that crazy difficult Anna Sean is our dragon in this level very nice and the only one 
Uh, wow, nice to see that we're done here. Uh, but we don't have all the gems yet, so we, before we head to this portal, uh, let's head into this little nook and cranny here and collect all those gems and see, we are back in the beginning of the level, so nice, this is a shortcut to the end, very nice. And we're done, this really took just 10 minutes to complete, so that really pleases me. Uh, that we're completing them in absolute record times. Okay, maybe not record times. When I saw the so let's see what is our next ability. I don't really remember, but if it is what I think it is, then that's cool. When I saw that giant stingray, I thought you were a goner, Sparks, but you sure shot him. Now the magic from the egg has made you even stronger, so you can take one more hit for Spyro. Yes, uh, this power-up is exactly what I expected, uh, so that's pretty cool. And what this does... Uh, well, Sparks will no longer get gem-based power-ups, so of course, uh, in, in terms of collecting the gems, Sparks is already pretty OP, uh, but now uh, he, is, uh, he got a defensive upgrade, if that makes sense. Uh, so now uh, he has one more, let's say, color. Uh, he doesn't really have a new color, uh, but if we get hit, well, that's not not really a way to show this off yet because there are no enemies in homeworlds. Uh, but oh well, we're going to be seeing a lot of opportunities to show this off. Let's now go to Midnight Mountain. Uh, where we left off last time so of course and this is exactly where we're going to end the episode uh, wow this skybox and the rocket look absolutely magical it, it looks like we're literally in space okay uh, so that's it for evening lake in the next one we'll be taking on the midnight mountain seeing what levels it has what gems it has, what eggs it has. Uh, so I'll see you all then. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Dr. Saturn and I'll see you all then. See ya.